Moving over to the other conflict. Now, as the conflict in Ukraine enters a new phase of escalation, Russia has unleashed a relentless barrage of attacks, employing increasingly sophisticated and deadly weaponry. President Vladimir Zelensky is again pleading to its Western allies to allow deep strikes into the Russian territory. Our next report brings you the latest from the battleground. In a chilling display of military might, Russia has ramped up its offensive against Ukraine, deploying an array of lethal armaments that are decimating targets. While on the ground, Russian troops continue to increase the artillery fire. These images released by Moscow shows its Iskandar ballistic missiles, which have proven deadly in the conflict. Russian forces have been relentless. At the forefront of Russia's brutal campaign are the modified glide bombs, a cost-effective yet horrifyingly destructive ordnance that has transformed the battlefield dynamics. Their devastating impact was tragically demonstrated in Kharkiv, where a single strike on a residential complex left dozens wounded and structures in ruins. What should I think? I live in this house. I have no apartment. Everything is burning. In 2022, my windows and balcony were blown out. On March 7, a plane dropped a bomb on Krasnodarska Street. On April 11, the windows on this side were also blown out. I invested so much money. Now I have no apartment. I have nowhere to live. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has issued urgent appeals to Western allies, emphasizing the critical need for advanced weaponry and air defense systems. He argues that only by allowing Ukraine to strike deep within Russian territory can the tide of this brutal onslaught be stemmed. Adding to Ukraine's challenges, President Zelensky reported a significant reduction in U.S. support with monthly deliveries of HIMARS rocket system projectiles cut by two-thirds. This development has intensified Kiev's criticism of Western allies for what it perceives as insufficient and delayed military aid. Russian forces claim to have destroyed a Ukrainian train carrying foreign weapons, further complicating the logistics of Ukraine's defense. While Russia has been founding Ukrainian cities, Ukrainian forces shelled the Belgorod region in Russia, where several apartments were damaged. This region is close to Kursk, where Kiev's troops have launched an incursion. At about 6.30 a.m., I returned home after a walk with my dog. At this time, it started to rumble. The whole house began shaking. Startled, my daughter jumped up, shouting and crying. We felt the smell of gunpowder in our flat. The rumbling was very strong. The windows were smashed at our neighbors above and below us. Frankly, I do not feel like experiencing such moments in our lives. It is very scary. The escalation in the fighting comes as Russian President Vladimir Putin orders a significant expansion of his armed forces, aiming to bolster troop numbers by 180,000 to reach a staggering 1.5 million soldiers. This move signals Moscow's readiness for prolonged and intensified conflict. Bureau report, we on, Wild is one. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.